The Global Users in Copernicus Climate Change Service made showcases that serve as inspirational examples on using global climate data. Here is algal blooms in the Great Lakes of North America. I am Ram Confessor of MCWQR, Heidelberg University in Ohio, USA. I am working with the Toledo Metropolitan Area Council of Governments in the tourism sector. We need the climate change information to develop contingency plans against harmful algal blooms or HABs with the changing climate. The CDS provides a one-stop shop for quality assured data on climate. It has a toolbox where users can access and process data in one place. All CDS data and applications can be used by anyone for any purpose and can be reached from the C3S website climate.copernicus.eu. We use the CTS Global Impact Service to verify our locally produced CIIs and presented this platform to the stakeholders. The clients were quite amazed to the CTS as they interactively explore climate change impacts in their area. We downscaled and bias corrected 19 GCMs using the DBS method. We used precipitation and temperature to run our impact model and predicted flow, nutrient, and sediment loads for the 2050s. These outputs were then uh, used to estimate the frequency of HABs in the Western Lake Area Basin, Ohio. The annual occurrence of severe HABs would increase from 12 to 24% in the 2050s. However, the implementation of conservation practices uh, would reduce this risk back to 12%. The current conservation approaches are enough to maintain the risk level of severe hab occurrence in the future climate. However, out-of-the-box mitigations are necessary to further lower the risk from the current levels. For more information, please visit the webpage where you can be inspired by other showcases, explore and download climate impact indicators and seasonal forecasts, and learn how to use and interpret the data. Thank you for watching.